Hey guys, how's it going? Max here with another video. This video is for WGU C464 and Shorter Communications. So for the performance assessment, we have two presentations. So the first one will be what considered your paper, which is the outline. So as you can see here, we have the outline presentation plan. So the first thing to do is choose a topic and you can choose any topic and you'll have to research that topic. Once you choose a topic, then you can go over this outline, fill it out. As you can see here, you'll need to have an intended audience, an opening statement, and a thesis statement, and then you have your main points, and then obviously a conclusion. So, and you also need to have a reference list, which is extremely important, so you can cite your sources. So, this is the first part. And the finished product, this is what it looks like. So this is the finished product. As you can see here, all the boxes are filled out and I color coded. So when I'm doing my presentation, I can go back and see some of my main points. And also we need to have a visual aid. So this is my visual aid, the graph right here. And I also add the source for the graph right here. So as you can see here. So this is test one, this is how it looks. And this is your outline presentation. So the second part of the assessment is the oral presentation, which you'll have to use this outline to, to do your presentation on. So let's go back here. As you can see here, this is the evaluation report for the outline. So you make sure that you communicate professionally, you have your intended audience, introduction, you have supporting evidence, conclusion, credible source, and you have a full reference list and you also have a visual element. So if you include all of these in your presentation outline, then you should be able to pass. So that's pretty much what it is for presentation one. So now let's go to presentation two. Presentation two is just an oral assessment. So you'll pretty much have to make a video of going over your topic and pretty much talk about it and explain it. So as you can see here for the oral presentation, there's more. So you gotta, you gotta communicate professionally, have an introduction. You're discussing your main points. You have verbal citation. This is crucial. So in your presentation, if you don't have the verbal citation, they'll return it and have you do it again. So it's crucial to include the verbal citation for the oral presentation and you also have a conclusion and I think the time limit is about five to seven minutes. So as long as you're within that time range, you should be fine. And obviously you need to have speech clarity, vocal variation, gesture and body language, you make eye contact, you have a visual element. So the software that you use to make the recording, what you can do is if you have a graph or a PowerPoint slide, you can actually share your screen while doing the presentation and then show that visual element. So which I thought was way easier to do. Just use a PowerPoint slide and then show the visual element and then cut back to your recording. And once you complete that recording, you'll have a link to the recording. And you'll include that link in your submission. I'll show you guys that later. And you also have a full reference list in the submission. So these are the main things. And the one that's extremely important for the oral presentation is the verbal citation. I mean, they're all important, but this one's really important because if you do not include the verbal citation, you pretty much have to do this all over again. So as you can see here, for the submission, you have the presentation that you recorded and you have a full reference list in the document. So if I click on my reference list, Let's pull that reference list right here. Where is it? Yep, there you go. There's the full reference list. So the, these are all the references that I use on my paper. And also I cited these reference on my presentation. So for intro to communication C464, the two performance assessment, that's pretty much what you do. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or comment below and then I'll answer you guys questions. So that's pretty much for today's. And I'll see you guys next time.